Keeping our dogs challenged and engaged through training and games is just as important when they're an older dog as it is when they're a puppy. It keeps them mentally and physically stimulated, which has a positive impact on their health and well-being by keeping those cogs turning. Plus, it's fun for both of you. However, when teaching an old dog new tricks, you need to keep a few things in mind. First, you need to make sure that your dog is physically able to perform the trick that you're asking of them. Some older dogs, like little Dars, may have sore joints and some mobility issues, so don't choose tricks or activities that could cause them pain or any more injury. Tricks that require them to jump, sit for long periods or run a lot can be particularly tough on dogs with arthritis. Not that we can see it when you run. Dental issues may limit them using their mouth, like carrying objects or fetching, while vision loss and hearing issues also need to be considered. Older dogs that are anxious or noise phobic might not cope with tricks like talk buttons or fast moving and loud objects, so use slow movements, lots of encouragement, and don't ask too much of them too quickly to help avoid confusion and making any stress or anxiety worse. Second, you need to use positive reinforcement and whatever motivates your dog the most. Older dogs may be a little bit set in their ways, so it's important to make the training fun and rewarding for them, as well as for you. Food is a primary reinforcer, meaning that it's something that all dogs naturally find reinforcing. They need to survive, which is why it's used for training so often, along with treats when you want to up the ante. Of course, you can use a lot of praise as well, or you can even use toys if that's what they respond to the most. Third, you need to be really clear about what you're asking of your dog. So breaking it down into small, simple steps and marking and rewarding them every time they move a step closer towards your end goal. Finally, you need to be patient and persistent when training an older dog. It might take longer for them to learn new tricks, but with consistent practice and positive reinforcement, they can still achieve great things. Darcy's learning new tricks all the time and he loves it. And so do I. The Vita Pet Pocket Trainers are small bite-sized chews, so they're great for training. Plus, they're made with all natural ingredients, including real chicken, sweet potato and blueberries. Visit vitapet.com.au.